take a look over here. All right, what are the differences between the text tool, text boxes, and the area type tool? All right, there's a bunch of differences. All right, the area type tool will fit to the edges of your objects, so you need to size down slightly within the word bubble to give your text breathing room. We talked about that a little bit in the PowerPoint. Um, hold Shift and Alt to center the transformation. So what we're going to be doing is um, we have a text box here, all right? We've also got an object that is here. This is the object, all right? And we're trying to fit that text inside there. Now, what I usually do is I have a another ellipse that I will fit within there. I don't want to have that ellipse going to the edge because if we actually have the type and we're going to the area type tool and it fits in just to the edge, it's going to go all over the place, especially because we've got this weird tail at the end. So I don't want to do that. I want to, before I do this stuff, I have two different shapes, right? I should have two different shapes. All right. I did have a sphere or a, a, a uh, an ellipse that I worked with, okay? Um, I can't believe Mr. Feeney is making us do this warm-up. All right. So if we're going to be playing with this, the area type is now I'm going to, that eye is kind of hanging out up the side there. I made an ellipse that I fit inside that bubble. I clicked in the middle. Hold on a second. I'll move this to the side. I clicked inside the middle here with the uh, ellipse tool. Clicking and dragging. Pressing Alt. Now it's kind of centered. All right. And gave myself a little breathing room around here. Maybe holding Alt again as I'm clicking it down. Breathing room, breathing room, good. All right. <clears throat> Taking that text, control C, putting it inside of there, control V. All right. And there it is. That I gets stuck up there. So what I'm going to do with that I is I'm going to press return. I want it on the same, same line. Okay. I've added an extra space up there. I'm okay with that. Now, I've also, I'm going to take that text. I'm going to center it. All right. Pressing the character align center. You got these options up here. We're aligning the text to the center. Okay. And I think that's it. Again, making a new ellipse, taking the text, fitting it to the inside of that ellipse. That ellipse is going to be a little bit smaller. Putting the eye on a different line. Okay. Using the paragraph options to change align to center. And that should make your text look pretty good. So you have to think about these different moves that you have to do to make your text um, a little bit more readable and look designed well.